Right, brilliant. Um, so today um, we're going to be doing um, how to solve Rubik's Cube, which is um, something that I, I tried to do it years and years and years ago. And I sort of nearly did it and stuff and all that sort of thing. Um, and then um, over the summer, I was on holiday and I was at a um, holiday park where you couldn't really have a conversation with anybody unless you wanted to talk about Brexit. Um, and I don't really want to talk to people about Brexit that want to talk about Brexit. Um, so I um, so I thought, oh, I'll set myself a challenge. And so I thought, oh, I know, I'll try and work, you know, I'll teach myself how to solve the Rubik's Cube. And it's actually, um, so obviously, hands, first, the first confession is that um, I didn't teach my, I didn't do it completely from scratch. I obviously went to the internet because that's what the internet's for, isn't it? And so, and, and there's basically a website, which I'll, I'll give you the web address later, but it's, you know, you can sort of learn how to do it in a relatively short period of time. So I, it took me probably about a week. And that's like, you know, I was looking after children at the same time and going swimming and all that sort of stuff. So it wasn't a solid week, but it was like, the, you know, from start to finish, just doing you know, um, just practicing and stuff like that. So it's actually quite, um, it's quite achievable um, if you um, if you want to have a go at learning. Um, so what I thought I'd um, thought, so I, it's easy when you know how, like anything, of course. Um, so um, I thought I'd just sort of um, show you a few, few um, uh, couple of videos about other people solving the Rubik's Cube. Um, and there's different ways of doing it. Um, so the, the next video is um, is one of the one of the world records. When you go online, you find there's lots and lots of different world records. And um, and essentially, when, when you're solving a Rubik's cube, if you if you take one, so they're solving it blind, where you know you have to look at it and try and work out what to do, and then you solve it. Um, and then there's, um, the, but the, the, the world record ways of doing it is to, you get a certain period of time to look at it and work out what you need to do. And then, then you do it as quickly as possible. So the next clip is, um, I'll, I'll send the links out for the videos. I mean, they are pretty cool, I suppose. Um, so... Yeah, so this is basically what one, one of the probably genuine world records um, where he does it in about four seconds. Um, and there's also like you can see the slow motion bit um, as well. And then this this one is um, this one's really impressive to look at because this is somebody solving three Rubik's cubes at once whilst juggling them in five minutes six seconds. I think he does it. So. Um, and I mean, it's pretty, yeah, it's, it's worth it's worth watching. And essentially, as he's um, as he's sort of holding one, he just puts a turn in, and then obviously has to throw it up again. And, and then as he's catching, puts another turn in on the next one. It's pretty. It is pretty impressive, actually. And it's I mean, it's meant to be a Guinness World Record. So it's, it, as soon as it was um, came out, it came out. Um, I can't remember. Maybe earlier on this year. You know, when you Google it, it auto fills with fake video. You know, because everyone thinks it's fake because. But I don't think it is fake because it's got like the Guinness World Record thing on it. Um, although, you know, what's true? <laughs> Maybe that is fake. Maybe it's a fake Guinness World Record. Anyway, um, so that, that, that's definitely worth um, worth watching. It's about three or four minutes. Um, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, I couldn't see it. So. Okay, that's great. No, but don't worry um, because. We're going to move on to actually how, how you solve the Rubik's Cube. So, um, so th this is the advanced uh, Friedrich method. Um, I've only learned some of this so far. Um, and this is basically there's four steps, four easy steps to solving the Rubik's Cube. Uh, the first, first step is where you, uh, there's only four algorithms. And an algorithm is a set of moves that you use 
to move you from one position, you know, from one stage to the next. Um, so there's about four different algorithms, and it allows you to basically produce. Um, so, so you focus around two layers at once, um, and that those four algorithms allow you to get to the next stage, which is where you've you've completed two layers. So like that, basically. So um, you've got two layers completed, and that's the sort of halfway point ish. Um, that's the easy half, anyway. <laughs> um, so step two, um, there's 41 different algorithms. So sorry, the first step is to get the, the white cross lined up with those um, uh, middle pieces. So you see the edge piece, the red and the green edge piece on the left-hand model there. Um, they have to line up with the, the middle pieces. And then step two, there's 41 algorithms that allow you to get to uh, two, two levels. And then with this um, advance, the Friedrich method, you then have to do the, the yellow side. So you basically, um, there's 57 different algorithms to remember, and that allows you to get to this um, side where you've just got one yellow um, face on, on top. But the, these side pieces will be all sorts of random. And then the fourth step um, is, is quite easy. That's just where you just reorganize these yellow pieces so that the, you know, the, all the greens on this side and the reds and whatever on that side. And that's an easy 21 algorithms to remember. Um, so that's the advanced method. If anybody's interested in learning that, um, you can either start with the advanced method or you can start with the beginner's method. Um, the beginner's method, though, is a lot slower. So... I use the beginner's method, and I can do it in just over a minute, on a, well, between one and two minutes. Um, the advanced method is then optimized further to get it to the point where you don't eat, they, they sort of go a, a stage beyond that, where they just essentially just do almost one, a combination of algorithms to produce the really fast speed cubing. Um, there's also other fun activities you can do, like blindfolded um, Rubik's Cube speed solving so that's where you get to look at it first and then you get blindfolded and you have to solve it as quickly as possible uh, without looking um, but there's all sorts of other games and stuff and then obviously you get the multi-side you know the, the two two by twos the three by threes the four by fours the five by fives and it goes up to so i've, I've read the other day there was a 17 by 17 different slices um so um just for extra fun <laughs> at christmas um Okay, so, so that's the advanced method. Um, so there is actually something called the beginner's method, which is, uh, well, this, this really is dead simple. Um, so you, you, again, you start with a white cross. So you, you're trying to make a white cross to begin with. Um, and there's just three algorithms, basically, to, to do that. And to be honest, I don't even look at the instructions for doing that one because it's, it really is, it, you can do it fairly intuitively because you're only dealing with one side. You don't really care what's happening underneath. And therefore, because you're not breaking any of that. You're just focusing on just getting that, that, that white cross. And again, the white cross, it's important to make sure that when you, the, the side pieces, so that next to the, the white, you've got the, uh, is it orange and blue? Yeah, sort of orange and blue edge pieces line up with the middle pieces there. Um, so that's the step one is just, um, there's about three algorithms to, to do that. And then there's about four algorithms that allow you to get to um, the, the white face. And that's basically putting the, the white corner pieces in um, from that first stage to the second stage. You just put the corner pieces in. Um, there's about four algorithms for doing that. Um, and then there's step three. Actually, in some ways, it gets easier. The algorithms get slightly longer. So the, on, the, on step one and step two, the algorithms are only um, <laughs> three or four moves. Whereas, um, grab, grab a seat, Dave. Um, on step two, I think the algorithms are four to six moves. When you get to step three, there's only two algorithms, not much easier, um, and the algorithm is actually mirrored. So there are kind of one's a mirror of the other, and there's about eight moves in each of them. Um, and then step four, um, this is where you, uh, yeah, step four, you go from, so step three is you, you complete the first two sides. Notice you do that over three, there's three steps, whereas on the advanced method, you do it in just two steps. Um, 
And then, and then we basically move to the, the yellow cross. You get the yellow cross, which is just one algorithm, but you repeat it as, however many times you need to until you get the yellow cross. And it's only five moves. Um, and then step five, um, that's where you just move the, um, you have to move the, so some, sometimes you have to move these yellow pieces around so that after you made the yellow cross, these edge pieces may not necessarily be in the right place. So you might need to swap them around. And step six, again, there's just one algorithm for that. Um, under the beginner's way. There are more advanced ways of doing it, which means there's other more algorithms, but um, we won't worry about that. Um, step six is simply where you, um, you find that this is, okay, you say this piece is in the right position, but these ones are not. So therefore, you need to find a way of moving these around, and you, you typically just move them around. The standard way on the website allows you to move them around um, anti-clockwise, um, or you can do a mirror of that algorithm and do it um, uh, count, yeah, what did I say anti uh, clockwise. Um, so that's um, fairly straightforward. And that, that move is, oh, I can't remember how many moves it is. It's like maybe six, seven, eight moves. It's, it's kind of fairly straightforward. Um, I'll, I'll show you all these moves later. They're, they really are quite easy. Um, and and then the final step, step seven, is where we've we've got these corner position, these corner pieces in the, in the right position, but the the you know like this one, you know the yellow needs to go up there, the blue needs to go. Up. So that one just needs you just need to orient orientate the the actual corner pieces um, all the way around. Um, and again for that, there's a <clears throat> there's one algorithm. It's only four moves, and you um, you basically but it, it's an algorithm that you use either twice or four times, depending on, um, depending on how many. So if you did it twice on that, that wouldn't work actually. Um, if you did it four times on that piece, that yellow would end up there and, and the blue there and the orange there. Um, if you did it twice, then that orange piece would end up at the top. So you just do it twice or four times, depending on uh, the position of the yellow. So if the yellow was on this side, you don't do it twice. But there's only four moves, and it's it's really easy. And again, you can you can you can actually do a, a mirroring of um, that algorithm to speed it up, speed the process up. If you're um, if you're if all your yellow pieces are yellow sides are facing a certain way, you can speed that up. But there's things like that that once once you know how to do the basic way, you can then start optimizing and going. Oh look, I, I've worked out a faster way of doing it now. So it, it's um. It's kind of um, comes. What I would say is that so the algorithms now. I'll I'll, I'll show you some of the um, so, some of the algorithms in a minute. But what I would say is that um, you, you, once you start picking them up, they they then become second nature. So now I actually get to the point. Sometimes I go like, oh, hang on, what am I doing? Uh, oh, I just need to do this, and I couldn't tell you what I've done because you you know it's one of those things you do it so many times. It's a bit like driving a car. You kind of know that, you know, you don't just put your foot on the brake. You have to put your foot on the brake and the clutch at a certain point. Or, you know, um, if, you, if you go from driving an automatic to driving a manual, um, then all of a sudden you start to find yourself stalling and stuff and, you know, things like that. So, um, because it's, you know, it's not quite second nature anymore. So, um, but it's definitely worth having a go. So, I'll just run you through. So, in order to um, understand... And in order to convey a, a set of methods of how to how to do, I don't know, how to record these algorithms and how to communicate that, there needs to be a, a, a notation system, and it, it's um, it's fairly straightforward, really. Um, so essentially, it, there's L for uh, left. So if if you imagine you are looking at um, looking at the face of a, a cube, L is um, so the top one L is clockwise left. Um, and the L, L dash is um, counterclockwise or anticlockwise left. Uh, right is the right one. Upper one, uh, D, I don't know what the D actually stands for, but it's, it's the bottom one. Um, and then face is this one, and then back is that one. And then you have some more, the more complex. Um, for, for the advanced algorithm, 
um, which you won't need to worry about the lower sections. But the advanced algorithm, in order to speed up the, the algorithm, you, you, you might need to be able to, um, M would be uh, the, I'll think about this, that, uh, just moving the middle, um, that, so mo moving this middle one would, so that would be a, an M or a, a hyphen M would be a, a anti-clockwise move of that middle layer. E is the equatorial layer, which is just moving that middle section. Um, S is the, what they call the slice, which is that, that um, and then X is where you actually rotate the whole cube and then just carry on as if that was the face. Y is you rotate the, you rotate it on a vertical axis and Z is where you rotate it around the, the, the face axis. So the important thing is, is just remember, there is a face, there's a right and a top. Um, and then generally, it, you just focus on, on those. For the beginning method, you just focus on those. In fact, you don't even use the B um, or the D. So it, it literally just focuses around the left, the right, the upper, and the face. Um, so to, just to make it even easier. Um, so, um, so what we're going to do now is um, I'm, I'm just going to sh show you a little bit how to how to do the sort of um, what they call the, the white cross. Um, so, and theoretically, the, I don't know if this right. This might work. Except, yeah, okay. Um, so the white, the white cross there. So, um, so basically, you can you see? Right, is that up? No, that's down. Oh. So where's up? Up. Oh, bloody thing! Right. So I, I did. I, I was. I did practice this, and then somebody nicked all my Rubik's cubes in the office, so I couldn't. So I had to stop practicing, which is uh, obviously why it's uh, not hundred percent perfect. So we've got this sort of white, um, yeah, the, this white piece here. So, so essentially, we're gonna. What we've done there is we obviously we've got a. There we go. So the the white piece there you can see is uh, got white side there. And we've got to make sure though that these, um, these, these edges here line up with their middle edge. So we just rotate that around. Oh look, there we are. So we've got that middle edge there. And then over here, can you see that we've got, so this white edge there, this, and we've got a blue, so between those two, actually, that's the piece we want. We just need to rotate it around so it's not, um, uh, so it's got the correct orientation. So what we've done, um, can you see that? <laughs> so we've got the sort of white, blue, white, orange, fairly, that's nice and simple. And then if we go around here, you can see we've got the green, um, the green and the white. And we're going to need to get a green and a white piece in there. So we've just got to hunt that down and we find it. And then, and, and fairly straightforward, we've um, sort of put, put that piece in, in there, nice and easy. And then the final one here, um, sort of red and red and white. Um, we need to find the red and white one. Uh, where is it? There we are. So, um, so there we are. Nice, straightforward. So we've got that white cross, and most importantly, um, the orange, green, and red, and blue um, side, side side edge pieces are, are lined up with the, the the face pieces of the respective face pieces there. Um, so that's 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 nice. So we we've kind of done that that first first stage. Um, then the uh, so the next thing is 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 um, so we've done. We need to do the first layer corners. Um, so that's um, so the first layer corners is um, a little bit more complex. But I mean, you can kind of work this out what they, intuitively. So if we just take this um, um, go away thingy, go away. Oh. 
So, so yeah, nice. The next nice straightforward bit. So you can see here um, that we've got. Go away. Right. So we see see here that we've got the white cross and green and orange sides there. So we need like a white and green and orange piece. So, and then, oh, look, as if by magic, we've got one just here. Um, so we've just got to get that one up there. Okay, so um, it's like that. <laughs> Only three moves. It was dead simple, wasn't it? Um, we'll do audience participation in a minute. Um, so again here, we're looking at, we've got a white, um, White pieces there, white and green are down this side, and white and red down this side. So we need a white, green, and black, uh, sorry, a white, red, and green corner piece to replace that one. So, um, and that just happens to be here. So, uh, again, s similar, just do it. Fine, nice, easy. Um, so that one's in place now. So now we've got like two edges, we've just got to find the rest. And um, so that's that one done. Um, and then we're just going to do this one here. Um, now there are you can follow the algorithms on this, um, but do, the, doing this sort of first this this first side. So we've basically got um, the first two steps there. You know we've we've completed that side. Um, um, we've done the first corners and. Yeah, it's, it, this, there are three straight four move algorithms. They really are quite simple, but you can actually almost work them out intuitively without even. If you want to follow the instructions, you can, um, or you can kind of work it out just you know, logically. It's fairly straightforward. The next stage is the bit where it starts to, it starts to get kind of a little bit more um, challenging. And, and the reason why it's, it's challenging is because obviously, we look, we've got our, we've put all that effort in, and we've got this lovely white face. Um, we really need to, um, we don't want to break that. <laughs> we don't want to mess that up. So, um, and the objective of the next st stage really is, is to um, get this second layer completed. So we've got the white one. Um, we, we, we've got to fill in these edge pieces here. So if you look at this between, we've got green and orange there. Um, we just need to fill in that, find a green and orange um, edge piece to go in there and let's see if we can find it see if it um, turns up but it's not there it's not oh here it is over there hmm that's a bit annoying um so what we're going to do is we what we're going to do actually if we look at the yellow this is the yellow side over here we're going to find some pieces that haven't got yellow on like this orange and blue that's nice isn't it nice orange and blue and i'm going to just rotate this round um, so that, so this snap, this orange piece there and the blue piece is going to have to go over here. So we've got to get that. Now, if you look at the, um, so looking at this, um, it's got to go right down to the right. Yeah. So let me just, I'll just move the. Oops, skipping steps. Um, right, so behind, unfortunately, behind that, behind the video, I didn't realise I was going to be able to get this video up um, actually on the screen until um, about half an hour ago. So um, so essentially, the, the opposite of that algorithm, um, oh, yeah, no, the right. Yeah, okay, so this one goes to the right. So we, you can actually see this is almost exactly like this. So oh, that orange piece there is going to go there, and we just um, see you, you. You can see that we just need to take um, that. Can you see that? Uh, right there we are. So um, it's just a quick uh, eight little um, eight moves, and you've um, got that one. And then over here we've got this green one here. Look, nice green, red on that side. It's got to come over. To match up with the, so it's got to come. That piece there 
or this piece here has got to move down to that piece there. And that's the sort of move down to the left. So on the right hand side of the presentation behind the behind the video um, is the uh, opposite of those moves on the left. The mirror, if you imagine you were mirroring left to right, those moves on the left, you just and that will move that that one down, move that one down to the side there. So you end up with um, the red and green side piece there. And you basically just sort of continue like that until you sometimes get an impasse at the moment where the orange and, sorry, the orange and green side here needs to be over where the red and blue side is. So you just have to sort of kind of do that algorithm to put a yellow side piece in there. And that will allow us to find that we've got a, the, the blue and red red pieces is there. Torture. Okay. Um, right, so so that so that basically, I've all I've done there is followed that are uh, you know upper right, anticlockwise upper, anticlockwise right, anticlockwise upper, anticlockwise face, upper face, and it's just you know you learn the um, notation the and uh, and you can see that oh I've just got one more to do. So, and we've see here, we've now got that second layer completed. So that's the second layer. Um, next thing is the yellow cross. And so you can see here, what I've got here is that by chance, I've got um, a line, a nice flat line there. And you can see that that's the third move, but um, this, here's what I made earlier. Um, this, in, in this situation, there's only one, <coughs> Uh, yellow piece in, in in the middle, and so we've just got to use this um, the algorithm that's hiding behind the uh, the quick time window. Do you want me to make this a bit smaller? Do you think? Or so you can. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so, so essentially, this this one it, it's a it's five. There's only five five moves to it, and uh, five. I can't actually remember what they are anymore, but um, but so you kind of just you just learn them and you do them, and then so here we've got um, you, you'll see here we've got the equivalent of the second piece there, which is the the yellows in a kind of a, a sort of sort of L shape, and then um, we just do that algorithm again, and we've got them the straight one, and we do it again. It's exactly the same algorithm, exactly the same five moves, and we end up with a cross like that. Lovely, eh? So, um, now what happens is that you sometimes get a situation where, um, so the next, the next thing really is, is, is that you can see here, I've, I've been rotating this top one around. So that actually look, the blue and the red line up with those bits there, which is very nice. That's nice, convenient. Um, very occasionally it doesn't work out like that, but Basically, the next move, the next step, which is just where you have to swap, you can see swap the edges. So the, the blue and yellow on that picture up there, the blue and yellow is in the right place, the, 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 the yellow and red is in the right place, but the yellow and green and the yellow and orange edge pieces are in the wrong place. They, they just need swapping around. Um, exactly the same as I got in this situation, actually. I didn't even plan that, but that's amazing, isn't it? Um, so I've, I've got another one here I was expecting to need in case I get to this situation what you will find is as you're going through this sometimes you get to a point where oh actually like half of the next stage has already been completed on this um, and uh, so you just do um, I think that you do this is it, no, maybe it's not um, So, so in this case, that's better. So, so what I've done there is uh, I've got the, the the yellow and green lined up. Um, so yellow and green is looking good, and so as is the red and yellow, the blue and yellow, 
um, orange and yellow, and they're all in the right place now. So we've kind of done the, so we swap those yellow pieces now. Then we move on to step six, and this is where um, <coughs> I'm sort of fairly lucky actually with this combination here. Is that you can see here that we've got um, an orange, green, and yellow corner piece. It's in the right place between the the yellow, green, and orange. Uh, it doesn't look very orange. Sorry, um, but so that corner piece is in the right place, and that's great. So we can work with that. So so that's a good key piece, um, and you can see that's similar to by you know similar to that piece up there. What we need to do now is we need to rotate these around. Okay, so. Um, what it would normally ask you to do is say, hold it like this with the with the um the piece that you don't want to move in the sort of top right and with that as the face, and then you do the algorithm. And what that would do is it wouldn't work. So you'd have to do it twice. Um but I've um worked out that actually if you just do the mirror of it, then you get it right in just one go. And that's just six moves, I think, something like that. Maybe eight. Um it's quite simple. Um so so you can see here, there's um, we've got you know the red. All these pieces are now all in the right order, and then we just move on to the final bit, which is it's literally it's just four. There's four moves. Um, it's very very easy, um, and you can see um, those four moves. So in this situation, we've got you can see here we've got. Um, we just need to sort of move these. But actually, you can rotate the whole thing. And th this this um, sequence of four moves, literally all it does is it just rotates that. It just reorientates that corner piece there. Um, so, you know, you just... Um, so that's third time. And then fourth time. And you can see that I've, I've now got that yellow piece in the and then here, um, I'm gonna just I just need to get that that yellow that yellow piece up there, um, which is just really dead easy actually because that's just two two moves of that algorithm. And you notice what I did there? I did a four move and a two move, and then the bottom section is is, is still looking looking good. You know, I haven't messed it up completely, which is quite nice because. <laughs> um, and then actually what we've got here is all we've got is just two pieces that are out of sync. So I'm just going to turn one around, work on that one to begin with. And <gasps> no, I've messed it up. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, how did that happen? Right, okay, so yellow, yellow side, right, here we are, this is just, right, that's first time, second time, third time, fourth time, and then we'll just do, where's it gone, where's it gone, bastard, oh, it's gone, it's gone, I've ruined it. <laughs> So the, the last bit, right, everyone thinks it's really easy, but actually it's quite hard. Um, well, no, because you, you have to, what you have to do is you, you kind of, there's a sequ those four sequences, you just have to um, follow, you just follow them through as if they're, um, oh God, see so you've done the yellow one. That's right, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Here's what I, <laughs> right, so. As I, as I was saying, here's one I prepared earlier. Just to go back in time. Right, so we've got what we've got here. We've got, uh, we've got the lower levels all done. We've got these, the yellow crosses in place. All the si yellow cross, yellow edge side pieces are all, all correct. And then, and then we just have to do that alg algorithm. But we have to count how many times. So we've got two, two yellow pieces there. And then we do this one a second time, third time, fourth time. And we've got the four pieces there. And then the next bit you can actually do. I think you can do. Right, that's the second one. And then 
So you rotate the top bit. Is that it? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> so, yeah, so, so the, end, the end bit is, is quite straightforward, but you just need to remember the number of um, moves. It's, it's just four moves, it's dead simple. And uh, you just gotta, and then you just basically, if you look at that picture up there, we, let's take this one. Um, one earlier. Um, so, so it's kind of, um, so i just get it in the same position it was. So with these edge, oh, we've got or orient the edges. Oh, God, it's always, it's always a bit in the wrong place, isn't it? Um, Right, that's right, that's right, that's right. So, so I've just done basically steps, uh, so that was step six. And by chance there, we've got one in exactly the right place. Brilliant. And it's just one, two, three. These three just need orienting. And if you follow the instructions, it will say you've got to do that, that a set of four, um, four times on that edge corner four times on that one, and four times on that one. Um, but actually, as you, if you do the, the mirror of those algorithms, you only need to do um, it, it twice on that corner. First, second, twice on that corner, um, and then twice on that corner, and, and you've done it. Brilliant. Cool. Um, <clears throat> any questions? <laughs> so um, I'll, I'll, let me just get rid of that um, an annoying uh, quick time thing. Right. Um, so so that's a website where it's got all sorts of all sorts of. Uh, I mean, it explains all the algorithms and stuff, and you can um, just learn at your own speed. Basically, um, it it kind of. It is, if, if you focus on just learning the algorithms for each step at a time, then you can do that, and then you just sort of have to look at the instructions for the next bit. But reset it, jumble all up completely, and then just go through, do all the steps that you know how to do, um, that, you know, that you're remembering, um, and that just allows you to practice that. And then the whole thing becomes second nature by the time you've you know, done the whole thing like a few hundred times or something. You, kind of remembered it, but probably less than that, actually. But. Any questions? Yeah. 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 So, so there's the four moves in the algorithm, and you do it either twice or four times on, on the corner, depending where the yellow position is. Um, once you've done that algorithm six times, i.e. either two or four times, then the bottom two layers are back in back in sync. So you will find that when you're, when you're orienting the corners, there will always be six, um, six algorithms. Yeah, the algorithm will be, you'll run the algorithm um, six times or 12 times. Or eighteen times, or um, so yeah, you've got to do it like six times, and then the bottom ones are back in back in order. And you just rotate the top, um, the the yellow side. You just rotate that in order to apply that to the the next. So in effect, it jumbles the lower two layers, but the top layer always stays um, uh, together, even though the bits all over the place. But the, you know, so as long as you complete that four that four switch, um, those four moves in that algorithm, then that keeps the, the top layer and the, the bottom two layers separate. Even though they look as if they get me you're messing them up, they will all, the lower layers come good on the, after the sixth um, sequence. Any other questions? Uh, I have read... It, it, I've, I, th I can't, it's like something like 18 trillion or something like that. 
Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so you probably hear, heard about people that say, oh, yeah, you just take the stickers off the cubes and then it... Um, the problem with doing that, so there's a bloke, I met a builder once who said, oh, yeah, I know how to do the Rubik's Cube. And I went, oh, really? What sort of have you got? You know, so there's lots of different types of Rubik's Cube when you get into it. There's speed cubes. And all. Anyways, so he said, oh, yeah, well, I, I've nearly done it, but I've just, I'm all, I'm, 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 I used to be able to do it, but I'm stuck on the last corner. I said, well, let's have a go. So I had a go, and it was literally, there was just one corner, which was the, wrong. And I said, well, that can't be right because of the, the theory of sixes at the end. And what's happened is that um, this guy, he's, he runs a building firm <laughs> and uh, his, his employees have swapped the stickers around <laughs> in, 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 a, in a way that is impossible to ever solve. So, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's what employees do, isn't it? <laughs> um, <laughs> especially when you're trying to practice, how to use a camera and practice. Right. Um, so, what, uh, any other questions? Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. It's the, the mathematics behind it is really interesting. If, you, if you're interested in vectors, matrices and stuff. So, um, I can't remember. I think I did it at university. University mathematics has always got lots about matrices and things. And um, essentially, you can... You, you, you know, that you can um, explain a lot about the Rubik's Cube using matrices and things. And, um, and, and if, you were to, if you were trying to create um, any kind of, um, you know, computer system um, that would look to try and work out the fastest way of solving it, and there are some. So if you go online, you can put all the color, you can look at, pick up a cube and go, right, put all of these colors into um, like a color chart, almost like online. And then somebody has written a system that will then work out the shortest number of moves in order to solve it. And obviously that uses some um, sort of matrices and matrices, matrix mathematics. Now, would that be a different, different pair of views? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I've shown you is the really long way of doing it, basically. It is the easy way, uh, but it is the longest Yeah, 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 no. I mean, so so the, the advanced method was where there were like, I don't know, I've lost count of how many algorithms there were, but some of those algorithms are quite long as well. So it's got these advanced algorithms, but some of them are like 12, 15 moves, 20, 16, 20 moves long. Um, so, yeah, it's... Anything else? What's my yeah. um, so I am starting to teach myself some of the more advanced um, algorithms. So, for example, um, on, on the yellow cross, sometimes you get a situation where um, that one and that one needs swapping and that one and that one needs swapping. But you can't... Now, you can either do the method that I showed you where it just, um, it just swapped two of these edge pieces... You can do that once and it swaps those two. And then if you need to swap those two as well, you just turn it around and do the same algorithm again. Um, so that algorithm is eight moves. So you have to do that algorithm eight moves twice in order to swap both um, yellow side pieces on, on the step six, five, isn't it? I think. Um, now, if you, if you go into the advanced area, you can just do like this, something like this. You just do like that. And then you go that. And, and then, oops, no. And then that, and you've done the same thing. So you, you, you can do it in like 10 moves or something this, instead of doing the two lots of eight moves. So you, by going into, by, by looking at the more advanced one area, you can actually start finding some far more, um, sophisticated, faster moves for solving things more quickly um, and combining those those methods with the, the easy. So therefore, one day I'll know all, however many there are, 57, 41, something, 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 and it was quite a lot, wasn't it? 100 and something algorithms, and then you know the, the advanced method. But of course, actually, when, when, as you're going through that, you're starting to also understand how diff, you know, how, how to, how it actually works, kind of under, you know, how, how the system actually works, because it is all quite, 
there, there, there are certain patterns, classic mathematical patterns, um, that, that you start discovering. Anything else? Yep. One minute seven. So I use the slow method. One minute seven is the um, is the, my fast. I've done that several times. Um, I don't think what you will find though is that actually when, when you start, well, once you know all the moves and you're trying to you time yourself. So I time myself quite often, and I sort of do between one oh seven and two minutes, probably worst case, um, unless you're drunk, and then <laughs> <laughs> and then. It can go over two minutes sometimes. <laughs> um, well, once you know it, yeah, no, it's. I'm tr tr trying to do things. Um, that that last that last layer, I like doing that. I um with my eyes closed because that is really hard to do with your eyes closed, even though it's actually one of the easiest moves. But because it's just a continu continuation of sequences, and then you've got to you've got to twist uh, twist the top at a certain point. If you get that wrong, the whole thing messes up, as you saw. Um, so, yeah, I think, I mean, what I said, generally between one minute and seven. When I first started um, doing it, it was like three to four minutes. Um, and then you just learn the algorithms, how to do them fast. And then you learn how to mirror them as well. So you can mirror, instead of doing, uh, so when you follow the instructions, level, um, step, step, uh, which is it, step six, step, step five, step six, where you're orient, where you're moving three of the corner pieces around, um, it says if you're trying to get that one to go over there, then do the algorithm twice. And, and what happens is you move the pieces around one jump and then you do the whole thing again and you move them around again. So when you, when you get to know it, you go, well, that's a bit silly because if I just do the mirror of that um, algorithm, then I just do that sequence in reverse. And then, you know, you can do the whole thing in eight moves instead of 16. So you start picking up patterns like that. <laughs> no, 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 they, they're quite. No, I mean, well, except for when they fell over and, you know, one of them nearly drowned and one of them. No. Um, no, to be honest, I did, did it mainly in the evenings, actually, just to, or when they were sort of busy doing whatever they do. So, any other questions? Cool. There, there are some. I'm, I'll, I'll leave one of these in each office and like on my desk. So if you want to borrow it and have a go, and then um, you know, take it home and sort of have a go. And if you can bring it back, and then uh, at some point, but you can pick them up for about I think they're about five ninety nine, six ninety nine. Um, it, I, I would rec. I'd probably recommend getting one that's kind of the Rubik's one because the. Um, some of the cheaper ones sometimes the, the mechanism for isn't that, that good and they sort of they, it gets really annoying especially when you're trying to do it quickly when when it's like oh you've got to get it perfectly lined up in order to um, don't bother about getting a speed cube unless you are you know moving on to the advanced method and things um, and, and and wanting to you know get it under you know 10 seconds or something Cool. Thank you very much.